How long, you, you've been here for how long? Well, my parents were here. I, I came oh, to Las right. Vegas in 66. Okay. Uh, but my this was my parents' home. And and after they passed, I acquired it. And, <laughs> and some of their stuff too, huh? No. This, this is, is all, all yours? This is all mine. Oh, my goodness, and Bob. One of my... Oh, here, I like here's the rest a, of the place. Here's a real dilemma here, right? I don't know what I'm going to do with my Aunt Jemima piggy bank. Oh, no. You know, I, I could be in real, you know, to have something like that is just terrible anymore. No, you can't. She, she collects money. <laughs> She's not serving. Yeah. You got to ask her for money. Yeah. All those spools. Yeah. He's just like all yeah. kinds of stuff. This is kind of unique. What, is that a metal bender? No. It came out of a pharmacy. And they used it to, it's a cork sizer or a cork compressor. You put a cork in there and squeeze it down to the size of your bottle and then put it's it in so the bottle cool. and it'll swell back up and seal the bottle. Crazy. Yeah, because <laughs> cork has the, it's one of the oldest materials that have memory. Yeah. Whose torso is that? Pardon? Whose torso is that? <laughs> I don't know. It's just a bone I found. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Bob. If you look here long enough. I here. like all that. <laughs> you got blue glass. No uranium glass, huh? No. The, that stuff is overrated anyways. Yeah. It doesn't have the value like it used to. That's a washing machine motor, Riggs and Stratton. With the string. You got to wrap the string around it. So you, you step on it to start it. Oh, is that how you start it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, the Coke. Oh, I like those. I like those old bottles too. Yeah, Who doesn't I, like those old bottles? I I like Coke stuff. Like, uh, that one's Ely, Nevada. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and you paid, you, had, you paid for that. How much did you pay for that? I don't know, probably a dollar. That's good. That one's Las Vegas. I had no Ely May Coke. I didn't. There's one in here somewhere from Boulder City. Boulder City. That's huh? San Bernardino, California. Wow. But I I like Coke stuff, so. Mr. Swartz liquid. <laughs> that was crazy. Is it all snake oil? No, it's uh you put it in your with your White clothes when you laundered and oh okay it's it bluing it but made them made them whiter crazy telephones you got everything <laughs> and then uh, you know too and then people will come in here they're like god oh, look at all this junk but no this is yeah. treasure yeah you got treasure uh, oh there's more yeah see there is not more <laughs> there's a little bit of stuff out here Watch your step there, because oh, I've got some three tortoise in me. Uh oh. They like to run away? That's funny. Turn this flash off. That's a scale. Yeah. That's a big papa scale. Yeah, there's another one inside the garage. What is that? That's a drill. They call it a post drill. You turn that handle and. Wow. You have a museum. Oh, all the insulators? Yeah. People like to buy those too, but they like the blue ones. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid, we used to go out in the desert, and there used to be insulators all over the place. And yeah. Never thought of yeah. picking them up. Also, there was a place on Boulder Highway before Tropicana that used to sell insulators. Hmm. They tore it down. It was an old thrift store. Well... Um, um, I used to have, like the last house I owned in Las Vegas was on the municipal golf course just down, okay. down here and had a block wall all the way around it and I decided I wanted to put insulators on the wall with the light underneath it all the way around and I needed oh. like, I don't know, 700 uh, insulators wow. and you know I'd go to the swap meet and you know, I'd find one once right. in a while and they're usually a dollar a piece and I decided I could, there's no way I could afford that. And so I was telling my neighbor next door that that what I wanted to do. And he said, well, down on Craig Road by the... Um, going back to New Mexico, 
Okay. But I don't know when. Oh, look at the phone. I didn't see those phones. I like the old phones. You can have everything that I like. All the old signs. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna have this, to have an option. This is not terrible old, but it's kind of a funny hammer. Yeah. Interesting. And oh, you can angle it. That's uh, for roofing, I bet you. Well, turn it and and then it, this would you could flake it up so you could throw it, it in there. there. And there. You get the soap flakes. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. And I bought that in the last six months <laughs> at a at a yard sale out in Overton. Oh yeah. I said, what is that? The guy says, I don't know. And I said, well, he said it belongs to my dad and and he had it a long time. But I don't know that he ever knew what it was, what he said, and, and uh, I said, well, what do you want for it? He said, I'd take two dollars. No way. <laughs> and you got history. <laughs> I love things that I make people think about, you know, what was that? You know? Right. I like that sign, too. <laughs> All right, but I better take off. Okay. Before I get in trouble. Good to see you. You too. Stop in any time. Oh, no problem. Yeah, I saw your truck. I saw your garage. So I said, I'm coming by. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, guys. I put some hand sanitizer on. That was my neighbor, Bob, down the street. He's been telling me and telling me over and over. You need to come by and look at my stuff. You need to come by and look at my stuff. Oh my goodness, did we just get a history lesson or what? That stuff is amazing. He's got everything and anything that has to do with old school toys, cameras, um, grinding machines, sharpening tools, insulators. I mean, that's a picker's freaking dream. But I hope you guys are having a good, safe Saturday. Have a great weekend. Happy 4th of July. Be careful. Wear your mask, and um, I'll see you guys on the next one. And have a great day. Bye.